Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a wall that breaks when you shoot it in Roblox. Before we start with today's video, please take a moment to go like and subscribe. Also comment what tutorial you would like to see next. If you use this model in your game, please link your game. I'm going to be checking out everyone's game and I'm going to shout out the best game in the next video. Alright, let's get into the video guys. Alright, so I'm going to make it easy for you guys. I'm just going to link the model in the description of this video. So once you buy the model, just place it in your game and that's it. That's literally all you need to do. Everything's set up for you guys. I'll just explain it for you guys really quick. So, the wall is what you see in the game. This is uh, before you break it. The humanoid, you come down here. You can set the health to whatever you want. The humanoid is right here. You can set the health to whatever you want. You can make it one. You can make it 1,000 billion if you want. But I'm just leaving it at 150. And then right here is all the parts. This is how you customize how it breaks. And I'll make, I'll make a quick other model just to show you what kind of things you can do with this, with this model. So if you want to customize your wall, just come into the part folder and then just, you can make all these parts visible and just move them around how you want. Just make sure like they line up with the wall so it looks like the wall's actually breaking and not just parts appearing. But right now I'm going to get rid of all these because I'm going to remake this wall with wedges. <laughs> So I just have all my little broken bits of the wall set up and uh, make sure all of your broken parts of the wall are the same color as the wall or else it's going to look a little goofy once it breaks. So I'm just going to make that the same color. Oh, wait. Um, there we go. Okay. And also make sure it's the same material. Um, there we go. And then... Once you have all your little broken bits, like your uh, whatever you customly made, you want to put them inside the wall, which... There we go. Alright, once you have all your little uh, broken bits inside the wall, you just want to you just wanna make them all transparent and then turn off collisions. And uh, make, sure they're, make sure everything's anchored. Make sure all your little broken parts are anchored. And then with all your broken parts, come to your little part folder and then put all the broken parts inside the part, part folder. And then it should be working properly. Alright, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, I'll show you really quickly where I implemented this into one of my games just to give you guys a little inspiration. I'll link this game in the description for you guys if you just want to come check it out and just mess around. I do update this game frequently, so. So yeah, as you, as you can see, like, uh, these are all, like, the little debris parts that I put inside the part folder, and then they just fall out. Alright, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I hope you guys can do something cool with this. I'll keep you guys updated. And please like and subscribe. And post your games in the comments. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next video.